Hey, what's going on guys? Rapid Fire here, and today I have a gameplay of Kill Confirmed on the map Village using the ACR Suppressed. And guys, in this gameplay, is probably like one of my best gameplays I've got since I've been back on Xbox. This is a 45-2 and two gameplay. Again, not the best gameplay, obviously, but it's a really good gameplay, I think, that I got uh, for just kind of like bullshitting around and just kind of trying to do good. And I actually got 45-2, and two. so uh, this guy with the fucking riot shield, as you guys can see there in the background, he was doing shit the whole game, and I just kept killing him. You guys will see later on. But anyway, guys, uh, just enjoy the gameplay in the background. It's pretty good gameplay, not going to lie. Um, again, I want to thank uh, Get On My Level Games for giving me the shout-out. Gained a lot of subs, a lot of views. Thanks a lot, buddy. You really mean a lot. And um, I'm going to have a surprise coming up here. I have a surprise that only maybe a few of you guys know about uh, that's going to actually ha be happening to my channel. Don't give it away. I swear to God, if you guys do, I'm going to punch you in the mouth. <laughs> Anyways, um, the topic I want to get to in today is a uh, kind of talked about topic that a couple of YouTubers have done, XMFX, the GOAT, if you guys know him or ever did know him, that he stopped doing YouTube, he did a, a topic on this, so did uh, SaintsFan0519, or my friend Jordan, he did one, uh, yeah, he did a topic on this, and that is evolving as a gamer, evolving as a gamer, um, or evolving as a player on a gaming, or, or on a game, so pretty much evolving as a player, so, uh, okay, let's just give you guys a history, so, when I first started gaming, like on Modern Warfare 3, for example, I was bad. Like, everybody that started shooters was bad. I don't care if you're White Boy 7th Street, gold medal champion, fucking best COD player in the world. You, like, Syndicate Project, like, Beast of Zombies, number one ranked in the world. I don't care. I don't care if you're good now. I'm saying when you started gaming and started commentating, you were probably the worst game player ever. I mean, everyone was. No one can go on, get a game, like a Modern Warfare 3, and pull out, like, a fucking, like, Moab gameplay. You can't you can't do that, your first gameplay. I mean, unless, I don't know, unless you got the game early and you know how the game works. Uh, and I'm going to get into that. But you can't just expect to go on to a game and expect to mob it. Like, we all have, though. I mean, you got to admit, we've all tried to go on to a game, our first game on that game, and tried to do really, really well. And it's kind of impossible because you don't know how the game feels. You don't know how the game works. I don't care if this is the most, like, real, uh, sim you know, the most similar game to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This game is very similar to Modern Warfare 2. But it's not the same concept. The controls are a little different. Like, not the control buttons are different, but, like, the way it plays, like, the frame rate's different. The frame rate, you know, fluctuates and varies on every game. Uh, the way you walk, the way you move your weapon, the way you shoot, the recoil, you don't know how these games are when you first get them. And that's why I'm saying you can't go on here and mob it because you just don't know how the game is played. It's going to take you a few weeks, a few days maybe. I don't know how long you guys play a game when it first comes out. Uh, like myself, I play it for like days on end, <laughs> or at least I try to. And you know, you just it takes at least a couple days to get to know comfortably how about how the game feels because it it really does take you a while. And once you do that, you start to have more fun with the game. And a lot of people that aren't into gaming and just kind of play to you know piss around that actually like do bad their first game. They're like, oh, I hate this game. I can't do good. I can't get a gameplay, so I'm done playing it. That's a lot of the mentality that people have. And with that mentality comes crappy gameplay, and with crappy gameplay comes to the loss, the you know, the loss of interest in that game. And a lot of people lose interest in a game when they can't, you know, whip out a gameplay that's like 45 and 2. Like this gameplay right here, a lot of people that can't get gameplays like this, I mean, it's not a hard gameplay to get 45 and 2, I'm not going to lie. For some people, it probably is, and that's, to yeah, that's totally fine. Everyone plays differently. And for some, it's, you know, simple. Like I get this with my eyes closed. I get this kind of gameplay in my sleep. But for me, this is an average gameplay. Like, in this gameplay, I can comfortably comfortably relax with a drink in my hand, you know, lay back on my couch or my bed with a pillow up, you know, just kind of relax with talking to my friends casually and get this gameplay. Uh, a Moab gameplay takes a little more concentration. I kind of got to be on edge, kind of got to watch my corners and things like that. And it kind of looks like I'm doing that in this game. But, you know, honestly, it, it all comes down to the way you can handle a gameplay. Uh, some people can handle it differently. That's what I'm saying. And getting back to, like, when I first started playing COD, I was a terrible Call of Duty player. I, as I said, I started playing online competitively on COD 4. I, I played competitively. I was in clans, like, major clans and stuff like that. And I don't know. It just, I was really bad. I, here, oh, yeah, here's this fucking riot shielder that we go, like, head-to-head, -head, like, four times. I kill him every time. Dumbass. Never use a riot shield. It's probably the worst weapon you could ever put into Call of Duty. It really is. It's mostly just for trolling, I swear. Um, but, you know, like I said... You know, uh, you know, uh, yeah, starting out on Call of Duty, you're always bad. I don't care if you're the best now, but when you started, you were bad. I was the worst Call of Duty player. I would never in 100 years post my very first gameplay of, like, ever playing online because it's bad. You don't know how other people play. You don't know how the gameplay, 
you know, you don't know how that game specifically plays. And it just takes a lot of, you know, really a lot of getting used to. And that's where I'm saying how I evolved as a player. Because when I first started, I probably went like 2 and 30, like in a game. Like, I got 2 kills and 30 deaths. That's how bad my KDR was. Now I'm whipping out positive games all the time. Whether I go like 12 and 10. I mean, that's a terrible game. I would never upload that on YouTube. But I'm just saying, like, I never really go negative in games anymore. And I'm not saying that to brag because I go negative in games sometimes. Obviously, when I'm just, you know, bullshitting around, not actually trying to do well. Obviously, I'm going to go negative. But, you know... It just comes with experience and comes with gameplay experience. I mean, the more you play a game, I mean, I'm going to be honest, like, I, I'm not a really strong believer in practice makes perfect because, no, you know, you can't ever be perfect, but practice makes better. I'm going to say that. Practice makes better because the more you play or do something, like, say the more you play football, the more you the, the more you learn the coordination of catching a ball and running and, you know, juking and, you know, defending receivers and things like this, the more you're going to be able to do that, the more you're going to be able to go into any football situation with friends or with a team, you're going to kind of know the main concept. And that's what I'm trying to get to in gaming. The more you practice a game and the more you play more Call of Duty games in general, the better understanding you have of that franchise. So if it was your first time playing Modern Warfare 3, you can expect on how to play Black Ops 2. Like, you kind of know the main concept. I mean, even though it's a completely different company, a lot of casual gamers don't know that it's a different company, or at least they don't really know the differences. And you kind of get the same concept. So with knowing the same concept comes, you know, better gameplay your first time. Because my first gameplay in Modern Warfare 3, it wasn't bad. I think I, I, think I went like 23 and 9 or something. I mean, I, it, that wasn't bad, but it wasn't great either. And that's something that I wouldn't upload on YouTube. Uh, but it's still something that isn't terrible and that's why I'm trying to get to the more you play a game the more you're going to become used to it just practice and practice and practice and I guarantee you 100% if you put determination and hard work into it you're going to pull out a great gameplay that's just how it is and with that being said that's pretty much my little topic my little rant my little opinions I guess you could say on evolving as a player so I'm just telling you guys if you guys want to become a better game player all it does is take practice and determination and try playing with some friends it really does help you when you have a good party because you can't trust random teammates they're just random entities on the map so play with some parties hopefully you guys did enjoy this remember to leave a like if you guys did enjoy comment on your opinions and thoughts on the video and if you're new please subscribe but until then we'll see you guys later tomorrow with another commentary this has been rapid fire we'll see you guys later peace